Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going to be going over the legendary Binary Operator. To get this gun, you will need the Arms Race DLC, and it can be found as a world drop anywhere. So you can find it in a vendor or a chest or a random enemy, but the way I recommend farming it is farming the final boss. The final boss, Harker, has a guaranteed chance to drop a DLC legendary, so that is the way I recommend farming it. Alright, let's head over to the Arms Race. So we're in Sanctuary, and you can find a side mission right here on the wall. Go ahead and pick that up and it's going to tell you to go to Pandora at the Stormblind Complex. Now, I already got the drop recorded, so I'm going to go ahead and play that for you guys. Got him. Cool. Alright, what did we get? Binary Operator. That's a new one. Alright, so we have ourselves the Binary Operator. Damage, really low. Now, there is a reason for it, so I'll get to it in a second. Accuracy, awesome. Handling, not bad. Reload time, average for a sniper. Fire rate, a little bit slow. And mag size, 8. Red text is, do it or don't. What's an attempt? Negative projectile speed, 5.4 times weapon zoom, and at the bottom, weapon charge required before each use. Also, this metal one only comes in no element form. Um, it cannot be elemental. So the gun does look pretty good. It's your typical Malawan sniper with a black and white finish. Just like a lot of Malawans, it has a futuristic look. Yeah, I like it. So what does the weapon do? Well, it goes off of binary. So zero is gonna be false and one's gonna be true. So zero, no damage whatsoever, or one, all the damage. Now, the way the gun works is it has a hidden damage value. On the card, you can see it says two damage, but it actually has about 540,000 damage. The only way to see the true damage value is to one-shot the enemy. So if your shot is strong enough after buffing it with your skills and whatnot, it can one-shot enemies. But if your damage is not high enough to one-shot all the enemies HP away, it will do no damage. The Jack Cutout has infinite HP, so it's never gonna die, so we're never gonna do damage to him. So let's go find like a car. We're in Sanctuary, so we don't actually have Mayhem Scaling for, you know, 10,000% HP. So for example, a car here. Yeah, you can see we do 2 million. That is because that 540,000 damage, after adding it with all my skills, my class mod, my artifacts, passives, all that good stuff, it was enough damage to make that be a one shot. Now, the required damage to one shot an enemy depends on the enemy. Some enemies have a ton of HP, and some have like none, like a Pupskag, for example. So the damage in order to one-shot has to be from the gun itself. If you add bonus damage to it to where it doesn't add to the original value, for example, like action skill and radiation, action skill and fire, whatever, it won't really help the sniper. You have to be adding to the original value. When I shoot the enemy, you want to be adding to this number right here. So if I had like action skill and fire, you would see two damage numbers. That is not going to help the gun. So go for things like bonus crit or splash damage or whatever. Also, probably the best anoint for the gun is going to be 390. That's going to make sure that first shot hits really hard. Remember, if that shot doesn't do enough damage to wipe out all of the enemy's HP, it does no damage. Okay, so we're on Mayhem 11, the max difficulty. Let's go ahead and push forward. And I'm going to say right now, guys, even with a really good setup on flag, yeah, this gun does not scale good on Mayhem mode. Just to really show it off, I'm going to stack the 500% damage bonus on the stack bot and show you the damage after that. Okay, stack bot is stacked up. This guy right here, he has full HP. Aim for the crit. And still no damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this gun needs a serious buff. This is Athena's mobbing too, and if it doesn't work on Athena's, it's not going to work anywhere else. Because I really want to show it off, let's go ahead and turn off Mayhem mode. And I'll give you an idea of what it's supposed to do. Okay, now we're on Mayhem Zero. Let's go ahead and do Fade Away. And yeah, you can see here, now we're doing enough damage to get the one-shot kills. Now, I did reach out to a developer, and it turns out this gun is supposed to work for mobbing, and not really for your bosses. But the scaling does need fixed. Alright, final thoughts on the Binary Operator. Yeah, it needs a buff. Now, it does work on, you know, non-Mayhem mode, but it would be nice to see it work on Mayhem mode. Overall, the concept of the gun is cool, but it needs a buff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.